42. I was sitting on my step. And she, a white man, came to my house and said, Hey, little boy, is your mother and father home? I said, No, my mother's home. He said, Can, can you speak to your mother? Back in the days, a man didn't go into your house unless a man was there. So my mother came out on the step. He said, I want to talk to you and your husband about something. When daddy came home, the man came to my house, and we came and sat on the step. And so the man told my mother, if your husband don't come to the house, and I stop coming to the house, she can get $15 a month. Some kind of welfare thing. A lot of the people took it up. Pretty soon the woman's out there cheating, the man is out there cheating. Because we lost, they, they broke up the male responsibility of the household. That's why we all welfare today. Every generation of generation. That's when welfare started. 1943, that's when the white man came to my mother's house and told my mother and father, if they separate, he don't live there no more, we can get $15 extra a week. You got the great-grandmother on welfare, the grandmother on welfare, the mother on welfare, the children on welfare, and the grandkids on welfare today. The man in the house rule was written to prevent welfare cheating to make sure that aid to families with dependent children would go only to families headed by mothers. But the effect of the man in the house rule is to create for children an atmosphere of investigation and surveillance. And thus, the welfare system in its operation turns out to be a system to make life harder for children. The welfare system helps the disintegration of the American family. It uh, offers money to families if the fathers will leave them and stay away in that sense undoing the very stability of the family and taking away one of the two parents that children of course need